our dignitarians here from the community. And we are really excited this year. We, um, you know, Mayor, you have been amazing. Every year you're here, you're in our pig roast, you're always, you stop by, you stop by on the, on the, uh, on the, at the Calumet Day, and we get to, we get to, we get to enjoy you. I have lots of pictures that I've taken over the years of you embracing our residents. Some are still here, and some are not. Yes. But we thank you for that and your love for our community. We are going to be honoring Mayor Copeland today, and so I'm going to go through his bio. And I think I, I don't know if anybody in this room lived in this community, but I actually I was raised in Hammond. Lived in when I first was working at St. Catharines, I lived on Grand Street in the harbor. And I have seen an amazing, and that was just a few years ago, back in like 89. But um, I have seen so much growth in this community. And Mayor, I think a lot of you have, you truly have the heart of our, our community and your heart. And so we thank you. Um, Doc, uh, Anthony, Mr. Anthony Copeland, he is a lifelong resident of East Chicago. He is known as a community activist and a leader. I love my city. I live, breathe, and bleed East Chicago. My heart is here, my family is here, and I want to make the city a better place to live for your family and mine. Early life, the seventh child of 11, born to George and Annie Copeland in 1965. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm 67, look Who's telling? <laughs> but Mr. Copeland has been married to Miss Carolyn West Copeland for 34 years. No, no, See, God no. bless. 45 years. Oh, no, this is, oh, we got to update this. Okay. Wow, your wife should be very happy to remember that. So 45 years, and God's blessed your marriage, too. That's, that's amazing. So that says a lot about a man. So he is the father of four wonderful children and eight grandchildren. No. Oh, now, oh, shoot. You got to update I got 20 grandkids. I got seven. <laughs> Hey, 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 they listen to the part of the Bible when they say they do Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, don't multiply, yeah. I thought you were going to add more to the four kids. <laughs> All right. He's a martial artist and former teacher with a second degree in black belt in karate. Uh, don't mess with him, I think is why he added that. Uh, Copeland co-owned and operated Ali, uh, Ali Kata, Kata. Karate School Ali at the Roberto Clemente Center in East Chicago for over eight years. An accomplished photo photographer, he's also owned and operated Copeland Photography Studio in East Chicago for 12 years. After graduating from East Chicago Washington High School in 1973, <laughs> Richard Copeland studied at Columbia and Calumet College. He worked at Inland Steel Company, now Accelerator Mido, and in East, uh, East Chicago for 12 years as a journeyman pipe fitter and welder during which time he completed a four-year apprenticeship program as a pipe fitter and welder and was certified by the state of Indiana. Uh, former, uh, former city Democratic Porter Chairman, uh, Councilman at Large, and Finance Committee Chair of East Chicago, mm -hmm. and Anthony Copeland has served as East Chicago Firefighter for, for 26 years you served? Yes. And you have been the mayor for? 13. 13. 13. Okay. So, we're going for more. In his long career as a community activist, Anthony Copeland has served as a member of leader of local organizations to improve the community. Copeland is a member of the Citizen of Action and former president of East Chicago branch of National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, the NAACP. Anthony served as a member of the Citizens in Action for 16 years and is the president for five. Citizens and Action's missions are to inform the public, bring forward solutions, and make city government accountable to the people. During Anthony's tenure with Citizens in Action, the organization successfully fought on behalf of the residents of East Chicago to reduce the cost of the new East Chicago Public Library Safety Building located on Columbus Drive from $55 million to down to $28. Ooh! Yes! yes. Citizens in Action have also actively worked to address environmental problems in the city as well as the issue of crime and worked against bloated city spending. Long ago, long known for his fight for elected school board in East Chicago, accountability and fairness, Copeland vows to continue his fight. I started out as a community activist and in many years of fighting for reform in East Chicago. There hasn't been transparency in city financing or fairness in taxation. All right, so that is our mayor. 
And so, because we love you so much, here we go. All right, and it says, this award is being presented to Mayor Anthony Copeland. Harbor Health and Rehab honors and thanks you for your fervent passion and endless commitment to, of servanthood to the families of our community. This is given to you on February 23rd, 2023. Yes, yeah, we love you. Come say something. My tongue and my teeth is at war. <laughs> Trying not to cry. Um, let me say to each and every one of you in here, ever since I became mayor, this place right here has showed me nothing but love. Every time I come here, you guys have surrounded me with love, and I will never forget that. I will never forget that. When I look at each and every one of you, I know why I serve you. Yeah. Right now, I got butterflies all in my stomach. You see, <laughs> words are hard to come out. But I want each and every one of you to know that um, sometimes uh, people don't give you uh, the goodness of their heart uh, until you're underground. But you guys have shared with me. Uh, you have made me feel proud to be your mayor. Uh, I know why I serve. I know why I serve. And look, look, Cleveland Cole, that's my buddy. That's my buddy. Me and him grew up together from here. Two days, we were born two days apart. Yeah, but I want to tell each and every one of you, I'm not going to talk myself in and out of something. All I can tell you guys that um, you fed me. Every year you guys fed me, so some of these belong to y'all. And, and, but, but, but no matter what occasion I come, uh, I tell people I have seen the growth. I've seen the growth in this building. I've literally seen it just transform. I've seen it transform. I've seen the way that you care for the people that's under you. I feel it. When I walk off through this building, I feel the goodness. And all I can tell each and every one of you, you've been blessed. Because this staff right here believe in what they're doing. They believe in it. So again, from the bottom of my, my heart, I love each and every one of you. Thank you. She has my heart. Yes. Because yes. during this pandemic, she really hooked. She really hooked us up. She really looked out for us. We love you so much. Yes. <laughs> but you have served tirelessly in this community, and it's amazing your resume. And I don't know if everybody, you know, I'm sure everybody knows she's the most famous nurse practitioner in the community. <laughs> But we, she has worked at St. Catharines, she has worked at Healthlink, the health department, she's ran everything, she's done everything, and she's just an amazing humanitarian. I would like for you to tell it more, <laughs> but I'm going to say this here, that she has served East Chicago for over 30 years. She has experience in family medicine, emergency medicine, public health, and administration. Ms. Diane is board certified to the American Nurses Credentialing Center and is certified in advanced life support, pediatric support, and stroke care. She is currently an instructor at the American Heart Association and member of the ANA. And the ANA. And the ANA. And the ANA. And the ANA. So, we, she, I want you to come and just kind of tell the community, or you, I mean, tell us, you know, some of the people that don't know you. Let people know everything you've done. So, Give us a little, uh, and I'd let me grab yours. So, thank you so much for having me here, but I'm not here to talk about me. I'm here to thank you for allowing me to be here and share this day with you. Many of you all know me, many of you and I have grown up together, and I am. I am a servant for this city of East Chicago. So, I'm not going to talk about me, but I am going to thank you all for allowing me to be here and to serve you and to continue to serve you. You all are community partners. If Sherry needs anything, she knows she can call me. If I need anything, I call Sherry. 
If you all need anything from the health department, please give us a call or you can call the mayor or Sandra and they'll get it to me, get that message to me immediately. So I thank you. It's a blessing for me to be here and to be able to serve you. God bless all of you. So, Therese Diane, all right, with Garcia Burns, we are Harbor Health and Rehab. We thank you for your fervent passion and endless commitment of serving to the families of our community. This is February 23rd, 23. Right on board. Thank you. 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 Thank we definitely want to give you some food. Yeah. All right, look at you in the house. Thank you, Lorraine. All right.